So I enjoy things in one of two ways, legitimately or ironically. Some examples of legitimate enjoyment would be like Led Zeppelin, pizza, and Hans de Foucault men's premium styling product. Some examples of ironic enjoyment would be like Bon Jovi, dinosaurs, wearing bathrobes, and like the movie Army of Darkness. Now every so often, uh, something magical will happen where there's an overlap between these two circles and something uh, truly wonderful happens right in the middle. Uh, up until now, I kind of called this the Desperado Zone because the only thing that really existed square in the middle is the Eagle song Desperado. I remember I was at an Applebee's one time and I started serenading this girl an acapella version of Desperado and it started off as like a complete joke. By the end of it, I was like having a really emotional moment. Interestingly enough, also the Antonio Banderas movie Desperado also exists squarely in this zone, but uh, most things that are really great kind of like have an overlapping, like the band Muse, I would say. I enjoy 90% legitimately and 10% ironically. And like on the other side of that, the band Steel Panther, I enjoy 75% ironically, 25% legitimately, something like that. But recently I've discovered an entire genre that exists right in the middle. It's like if Dio era Sabbath were a place, it would be this realm of folk metal. Now, I've kind of talked about being a metal poser in the past, how I kind of want to really like metal, but I just can't bring myself to do it. First off, I don't really like screaming vocals. I just can't really get down with that. Now, I have huge respect for all metal musicians, even the screaming dudes, because uh, I don't even know how they do that. But it's, I mean, it's a, it's a cool sound. It's just not my style. I also don't really like the sound of like the super high attack clicky kick drum on metal. But uh, anyways, I've always wanted to be like a metal head. I just couldn't really get into it. But now this revelation that folk metal exists has kind of like totally turned me on to this. And I'm so happy about it. I kind of want to just like share some of my thoughts and maybe link you to it. And the catalyst for all this was learning about the band Winter Sun. Uh, there was a crowdfunding video these guys made that kind of made the rounds on the internet. And I checked out and uh, I absolutely fell in love with this band, specifically the lead singer, who again, kind of like that acapella Desperado song. Uh, at first it kind of seems like this is some kind of joke, but then the more you watch this stuff, like this dude is the man. And he has like such passion and drive to make this incredibly intricate arrangements. It's kind of like if the Skyrim soundtrack mixed with like the Metallica s and album and also a lot of like Dio era Sabbath was kind of like just all into one. These like incredibly epic arrangements that are like sometimes 14 to like 20 minutes long. Anyway, I've kind of been binge watching these documentaries these guys have been releasing at like 4 a.m. in the morning and like, <laughs> I mean, I realize this is not for everyone. Uh, it's kind of like, again, th this Desperado Zone is like a very a very special place that maybe not everybody agrees with, but I just wanted to link you guys to a couple links of some amazing documentary footage and uh, definitely support this guy's music. I've never met these guys. I think they're, uh, I mean, they're definitely European. I think they're like Finnish, but uh, fantastic band, really great musicians. And uh, you know, they're doing it for like a very pure musical cause. So definitely check out some folk metal because I think it's a very, it's a very promising genre, and it's a genre that someday I will tip my hat in because, or, you know, try my hand at it, just because, I mean, it's too, the storytelling is just so rife with life. So anyways, definitely let me know what you guys think of it, and uh, hit up some of those links, and I'll talk to you soon. Thanks.